Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we will be creating these beautiful decorative vases using items purchased from the Dollar Tree. These vases can be used to add your artificial flowers to, on your vanity, or even on your counter or mantle. Please see the description box below to see all of the items and tools used in this project. I am so excited to share this tutorial with you. But before we start, I wanted to say welcome back to my current and new subscribers to my channel. If you're a new visitor today to my channel and you love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now let's jump right into that project. For this project, you will need four boxes of these tower game blocks from the Dollar Tree and a piece of foam board that you'll use for the base. You want to start by opening all the blocks and removing all of your packaging. Now you'll notice that my blocks came in two different colors, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and separate them into two groups since sometimes they vary in size and texture. So now grab your foam board. So what I did is I sketched out an octagon shape and I'm going to use that as a guide. Now you can do this as well, making sure that each side of your octagon is about two and one eighth inches. Now all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna trace that shape onto my foam board in two different places. Then I'm simply gonna trace over it with a marker just so I can see it better. Now here I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut off the excess foam board, making sure you leave a slight edge around those shapes. Okay, so now we're going to start building our vases. You want to start by adding your first layer of blocks. You want to stand them on the long side and shape them around that octagon shape. Laying them out will give you like a visual so you can see how they'll appear before you glue them down. Now once everything looks good, go ahead and take your first block and you want to add some E6000 and some hot glue and you want to secure it into place. You want to repeat this all the way around your octagon shape for both shapes. Now for every layer that you'll add from now on, you will only use E6000 on the block. And here's the progress so far. Now to show you in detail, this is how each block will be placed with the E6000. Now all you do is shift the blocks to make sure that they're in the right place and make any adjustments. If you had used hot glue here, they wouldn't be able to be shifted. And once they're perfectly in place, you want to apply hot glue on the inside at where the corners touch. And here are the completely built vases. They'll end up being about nine layers high. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut them apart and trim off that excess foam board using the shape of the vase as a guide. Now 
And here they are, cut out and ready to go. And now we're going ahead and taking them outside and preparing them for paint. Now I will be using two light coats of this Krylon All-Purpose White Bonding Primer. And once that dries, I'll put two coats of this Krylon Brilliant Aluminum Spray Paint. And here they are, fully painted on the inside and out. Now that they're dry, we can use them in our home decor. Now I wanna make a couple different floral arrangements in mine, so I just gathered up some florals from my stash and I created a couple different themes. Just wait until you see them. And here they are, all decked out. Oh my gosh, look at these vases. They're so beautiful. And the roses, they look amazing. That silver color just makes all the details in these stand out. These are so versatile. And just by adding something as simple as flowers really creates a beautiful display. And I just love this winter themed arrangement with the white roses and the snowflakes. It'll be perfect for my side table. There is so much you can do with these vases. Try them out in different colors or keep them natural. If you have the lighter wood blocks, try staining them or you could make them into a fun color for a child's area. There's just so much you can do. Listen, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. This lets me know that you're enjoying my videos and I can keep bringing you more projects. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial. If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that button below and turning on that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.